Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm Melike, I'm the co-founder of Bokan Couture and uh, we are going to have interview with uh, Cleo Pierre today and uh, she's, she's having uh, connection problems so she will be a bit late today, sorry for that. Uh, but you know, everything happens in life. So uh, I will be here for 10 minutes waiting Chloe and I would like to talk about also uh, what we are doing with this interviews. Um, as some of you may know already that my sister uh, also, she is the one of the co-founders uh, of Bokan Couture. Had the first uh, interview uh, yeah, last week on Friday and we are hosting this uh, strong woman uh, and we will also continue to host them uh, every month. Uh, we set this uh, aim as a goal that uh, we want to be, you know, uh, uh, be the voice as a brand of uh, lots of women who has been trying to be successful in life uh, as in business in uh, career so uh, so we started this uh, conversations in honor of women's history month uh, so i'm very excited for you uh, you're gonna meet a female entrepreneur claire pierre uh, she founded her company uh, just less than a two years ago but like she reached more than thousands of people uh, through her uh, company and also uh, Thyself. Her company's name is Thyself. And uh, they're uh, they a community. Thyself is a community driven platform for the wellness industry. Uh, so they launched in 2018, but they came here, uh, you know, in a short notice. but very uh, successful run uh, so far so uh, yeah and also uh, by honoring this uh, beautiful woman uh, that uh, we're also supporting uh, Women for Women International uh, charity as Bokan Couture so uh, this charity is uh, basically uh, the main uh, goal is to help women and support them uh, in daily basis and also uh, you know provide them uh, a job so it's very important uh, to have this skills uh, to just earn money because yeah in the western life and here yeah it might be so easy to you know reach the education or uh, having the skills on earning money but rest of the world also suffering you know education and also healthcare uh like on in women so yeah uh, i'm very glad that uh, as a bokan couture we are supporting women and also as a bokan couture we are uh, uh we are a uh, woman driven company uh, we founded this company with my sister and my mother uh, in 2013 so um, myself i am a lawyer and also uh, my sister is industrial engineer my my mom actually is a textile uh, designer so uh, she definitely uh, you know started this business and now i'm not practicing law like um, for a year so i really like to do this job so we are addressing a niche market that uh, you know luxury sleepwear brand uh Bokan couture uh, yes so uh, and also uh i'm very you know uh happy that uh, you all joined me today and you're here with me and thank you all my family, my friends supporting me right now uh, and my mother, my, my dad, 
and Mary guy, you know, uh, who has been very, you know, uh, caring and supporting me in my stay in the States. So thank you. And also now I'm seeing that uh, my, my, uh, my president of uh, Turkish uh, young business entrepreneurs uh, in Turkey, Nilfer Çevikal, is also joined our uh, live chat. Thank you. And thank you for all my friends. Uh, yes, and I hope <laughs> Chloe will be with me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm seeing all the beautiful comments of you. Yeah. Yeah, I think Chloe is trying to connect right now. Yes, uh, I hope, I hope <laughs> definitely so sorry that uh, Chloe can join our uh, conversation and interview right now. We're waiting for her, but you can ask me anything, you know, about my brand, uh, my, my journey, my way, you know, uh, actually it, it's, it wasn't an easy way for us because, you know, it's sad to say that, but it's hard being a woman in business life. Even though you are so smart, you know, uh, or like very well educated or, you know, self-driven person, uh, still you are not a guy. So, uh, so we should work more hard on ourselves and we should definitely educate more ourselves. But it's the way it is, but it can change. So that's why we created these interviews with this, all these beautiful women around the world who is trying to uh, achieve their goals in their uh, careers and their lives. So this is very important. And also this year's theme was uh, International Women's Day uh, Choose the Challenge. So uh, my challenge was uh, this year, you know, uh be better version of myself so it's my challenge so this year uh as honoring the uh woman's uh, history month uh i'm gonna challenge myself with better version of myself in every aspect of my life so what is yours it's also mm, important question i think <laughs> and yeah so uh yeah, please ask me anything. Yeah, uh, one of our uh, followers asking, give me dress gift, please. Of course, I hope uh, at some point my brand will come to that point and we will, you know, uh, uh, sending to gifts or blood customers and royal customers. I think Chloe is here. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, I'm so sorry. It's been a really crazy few hours. I think my uh my fuse is gone or my electricity is gone. Uh, no worries, it's fine. Everything works for a reason. It's you know? very true. <laughs> <laughs> so like you know, it's definitely what happened like we had to change the venue of the meeting because of the yeah. internet and uh, i didn't have internet yesterday so oh my goodness I, if, if the internet goes yeah. which it has done but i've got like about three different devices so i'm hoping that it will yeah. work so apologies <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm seeing that you are wearing this beautiful. I am. I'm so shirt. comfy. <laughs> it yeah. is beautiful. I've um, I was eyeing up so many different designs on the website. It's insane. Um, I'm entering a new phase in my life as well, so it just makes sense for me to like you know reflect that in how I'm dressing. So. So I'm I'm very glad that you're enjoying the dress. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and the drop and the gown. So, yes, yes, yeah. yes. I even put on some makeup. <laughs> you're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're beautiful. And again, thank you for joining us thank today. You. you for accepting our offer to, you know, talking with us. And yeah. Also being inspiring the our followers and a very, being a very successful and inspiring lady in this young age but really like uh, like after reading your resume i said gosh in this age <laughs> this beautiful young lady achieved this this beautiful things and so i have lots of questions to ask okay. like <laughs> great because like the way that you did it because like you reached over a thousand people across Europe, including New York, less than a two years. Yes, so, yes, with my brand so, thyself. So it's not something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is crazy. Um, I think the only way to describe how that happened is that I took a risk. Um, I knew what was in my heart. I knew what I wanted to do. I didn't want to let anything stopped me um even things like you know doing an event in new york essentially you can't do an event in new york unless you're a citizen of new york so you can't essentially be from the uk do an event there and make money from it so i thought okay so i have to scrap the fact that i can like charge people this is just going to be um an awareness kind of piece um and it was beautiful it was such a beautiful event um I've made so many connections with people. I spoke to someone that came to the event last week and she just said like, from the moment she stepped into that event, she felt different. It's not something that they ex uh, specifically experience in New York in terms of events, even though they have amazing events. Um, I just want to say hi to my friend, Ronnie, who's on the call. Hi, she's amazing. She's been so supportive. Um, and yeah, it was just an incredible event it blew my mind um, and it changed me for the better as well as growing the brand as well, so. So, you know, uh, every cloud has a silver lining. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my accountant probably wouldn't see it that way because she was like, you did what? And you spent what? But it's essentially, it was like a business trip, an inspiration trip, a networking thing all rolled into one. And I don't believe we would be where we are today if we didn't have that. So see? Yes. <laughs> it was a risk worth taking. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, was, I was going to be there. <laughs> okay. So I'm shooting my questions. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So, Clay, I talk to you and our followers know that you're a very successful woman because I talked about thyself while we were waiting you so they know so uh chloe uh like what are the distinctive features of your company that differ you from the other brands in wellness sector yeah, in short sure. what so makes it... the company unique yeah. yes okay um our usp um there are so many things um but i would say the crux of what makes thyself thyself and what makes us stand out against other people in the market is the fact that we are inclusive. You know, so many wellness brands, whether that's the price points they have, the entry, um, you know, the kind of marketing that they have, um, the people that work with them, for them, advocate for them, they're all a specific type of person where that doesn't exist in thyself. Um, we are all different shapes, sizes, you know, um, shades of complexion, different abilities. We come from different backgrounds and that's the beauty of it. We all come together um, and there's a want to educate. There's a lot of wellness, wellness platforms out there that are running with a technique 
but they're not willing to share or even evaluate their understanding of education um and everything that we do with thyself is an education piece you know even from the fact that we posted flowers today on our instagram yeah. that is promoting the fact that yes mother day mother's day is coming up or yes you can treat yourself to flowers that is self-care but maybe looking a little bit deeper into it you can maybe try and make a choice to choose fair trade over just any random bunch of flowers maybe you can think about consciously where you're shopping who you're shopping with who is getting your money what is that chain um so for me wellness is in everything wellness is a lifestyle and i think that's the difference as well between thyself and other companies uh i know because i've been reading you <laughs> for two weeks <laughs> <laughs> i hope it's been fun <laughs> Of course. And and I come to that you really changed the norms of the wellness sector actually. Yeah. Because like you're not uh, sorry at interrupting you but you're not you know just uh approaching like uh, self-care through community like you're you are approaching self-care through community conversation, you know understanding uh, and diver you are diversifying the wellness yeah. uh, belief you know yeah. in our so rather than product so you yeah. really changed the norm basically like you did so you're a game changer like really Chloe you are so <laughs> thank you again for me meeting me <laughs> thanks for having me <laughs> thank you and what made you to do this like, honestly what, what, what do you know? um <laughs> <laughs> uh it's it's hard i was on my own kind of journey uh, to grab me sorry about that um uh so for me i was on my own wellness journey um i just didn't feel super happy inside myself mm -hmm. um it didn't matter how much clothes i had how many holidays I went on, I'd still have to come back, especially with holidays. They were like my escape route. It was also like an inspiration thing. It was fantastic. But I still had to come back and deal with this sense of not feeling fulfilled um, and feeling as if someone else was in control of my future, whether mm -hmm. that was jobs, um, you know, the, the communities that I lived in and surrounded myself in, um, and I just decided to let go of all the things that kind of made people class me as an other. So whether that was me being plus size or that was me, you know, not coming from a certain background or not speaking a certain way or, you know, even with my own family and friends, you know, being seen as being different because of how my mind thinks. I just thought, well, I could spend another 30 years thinking that this is normal and this is what my life is going to be or I can just run with it and just lean into it um so I did that and then on the way I found different wellness practices I found new communities but whilst I was doing that and enjoying it and finding myself through these things there was always like this feeling that like oh if I was them, I probably wouldn't do that. You know, I'm, I never thought of myself necessarily as a businesswoman, but I definitely have marketing expertise. So I would say, oh, I'd do that different. I'd want people to feel like this when they came into my space. Um, and then I thought over some time, I just thought I could do this. Um, I created the concept in my mind. I decided at one point, I'm just gonna put it down on a document. So I did that online. And then I think within a space of a week or something, I had approached one of my friends who worked at River Island and I said, I've got this idea. I want to launch this brand. Um, it's going to start off as a community, but let's see how it goes. She was up for it. Um, and I launched myself and we grew on Instagram like 200% overnight from that event. Um, and then the next year we was in New York um, then we were like doing work in Berlin, like a lot of research work. Um, and everything that I had let hold me down before actually changed. So I was no longer applying for jobs. Actually, jobs were coming to me. So I always wanted to work with the likes of Nike Jordan. 
I worked on a Nike Jordan campaign. <laughs> I wanted to work with H&M. I got paid to work with H&M like month on month doing what I love best, which is wearing clothes and taking pictures and meeting people at the same time. And it just, it showed me a different world and it showed me that world is not that hard to tap into. You just have to believe in yourself and you just have to take, again, a risk. So that's a long answer, but that's essentially how I started myself. Um, I didn't know it was going to be this. I didn't think it could be this. I just wanted to have a space that people could feel like they were a part of instead of being excluded. Well said. <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm also a lawyer, but I'm not practicing law like for a year because I'm into this business more because I'm enjoying. It. Like, yeah. I really, I'm real happy that like right now we can change that. Like, I don't, pra I don't have to practice law, uh, being a lawyer because I studied law. You know. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not enjoying it anymore. So. Yeah. So I'm definitely, you know, huge fan of you. And I hope we can meet in person and I can tell you my story. I would love that. I would <laughs> love that. Absolutely love that. Thank you. And also, uh, uh, please allow me to ask that. Uh, because yes. uh, I know that you're a very brave woman in your sector and you're the first girl, actually. Like, first one. So there's none. You're the first. Uh, what is it like to be a black female entrepreneur in a mainly white dominated uh, industry of yours? I, yeah, I would say for, I'm not the first, but I'm, I guess I've shaken things up a little bit. So that has earned me the title of being a first in some ways, but I wouldn't say that I'm a first, especially if we're looking at regions. For sure, in London, um, there are many amazing black wellness practitioners and entrepreneurs, but have mm -hmm. they haven't necessarily gone down the route that I've gone down, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of them, I've spoken to them one-on-one, -on -one, and some people, you know, raise concerns that I was just... Um, using brand partnerships to grow the brand but i was actually using my intel which is something that only i specifically have to get my brand further to get the awareness out there and that is only to help other people like thyself whatever thyself earns i don't they, i don't touch it i already have a, a, my own career you know i already have you know I'm, a, I'm not a greedy person i just don't really care for too much um so that is one thing but then i think you know if we're talking about globally there are so many amazing black wellness entrepreneurs that i know of that inspire me every single day some of them i physically know um and personally know um and a lot of them i just admire from afar and the fact is if they were to mention my name i would be like oh my god i would cry um because it is it's very specific. It's a niche that we have and it shouldn't be a niche, but it is a niche. So I love the fact that we're doing that. I think I'm working on something which is hopefully going to bring a lot of people together. I started one initiative last year and I've got another one coming up. Um, and I look forward to like bringing more people together. I don't want to be the first and only black female or anyone of that kind of nature in a room. I don't want to be that. i why would I? That's not not going to be any fun. Um, and I want to see more people like me there. So, yeah. I don't know if that's answered you. <laughs> Thank you for your great answer. Uh, you know what, what, what we were talking with my friend the other day? We said, if we were, like, if we just, you know, establish, uh, like, female, like, party just 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 the, you know party just the females in the parliament think about it no men <sighs> but they're each other though <laughs> yeah i mean i think it would be fantastic i would love to see a version of the world run by females for as long as obviously men have been the dominating force i would love to see that it would be a great comparison um you know i'm not 
like this toxic feminine person i believe that you do need like yin and yang um i think there's some amazing men out there that are doing great work and that are you know lifting is- everyone up not just men and not just a specific set or demographic of men um but it would be nice to not have to as a woman have to really explain myself to really explain an idea which would if a man said and more vague than me they'd get it straight away you know it would be great as a female if i didn't have to prove myself so much just to get funding for my brand or business you know it would be great for us to get a crazy amount of investment rather than getting grants you know like we're worth more than that and we proved that you know yeah i definitely get what you're saying and uh as i have a daughter eight years old and oh my God. i'm proud to have a daughter i would yeah. have a boy but having a daughter uh, giving giving me as a mom more responsible yeah. because i should work on her education more i should work on her like everything more because she should be accepted in the public we i, I, all I think there should be it should be the same for boys and girls you know But it's yeah definitely it's not. Like, that's, like the subconscious and the like the tradition that we it's not a bad thing be raised like that but it can be changed 100% It's a choice that we have to make as individuals. It's a choice that we should be making when we become pregnant or we discuss, just this, you know, decide to have a family. And also, I'm very glad that you mentioned that we are yin yang yang. Yeah. I'm a very female, like, uh, woman. Yeah. And I need a male. Yeah. I feel that. Like, I need it. I need yeah. this. He needs me also. So we are... Yeah. We, to, we, sh- we shouldn't just like face each other and you know having this wasting each other no we should turn our face one point and we should look that with you know in in love you know intention and we should achieve this goal together one goal um, yeah exactly it's about working together and i think that comes down to you know the politics of race as well because i hate using the word race Um, yeah. you know, I'm really starting to learn more about my identity as well. Do I, do I want to be cast as just a black woman? Um, do I, do I want that? Um, you know, all of these things I'm looking into, but essentially there's the same thing when it comes to race politics or abilities politics or any kind of politics where you're breaking people down. I think we should be coming together. That's the way forward. You and know, you, and also Chloe. What happened? Uh, you know, I'm from Turkey, from Istanbul. Yes, love so, Turkey. Yeah, thank yes. you. Have you? Yes, I live in a very Turkish area, so I'm very much like I love the perfect. Culture. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm gonna cook. Oh, <laughs> oh God, please. Yeah. So what was I talking about? <laughs> I lost it. Okay, I- I'm shooting the next one. What is the real success story you were not actually expecting to achieve, but it turned out to be phenomenal? I think it was New York. You all are danced with that. Yeah, I think it's been New York. I think my whole career has been that. I didn't expect it to be like this. I didn't expect to be where I am today. I wanted it, but I didn't expect to be here. So it's a hard way to answer a question, but I would say like literally everything I do, I, I, I'm proud of. And if I'm not, then I just literally <laughs> erase it. <laughs> yeah. Why not we spend time for the past, you know? Yeah. Go on. We can yeah. change it. Exactly. We have power. <laughs> so, I'm very happy that the woman doesn't see themselves as a victim. No, that's, that's, that's been a question, uh, uh, something that I've been thinking about all week. And I don't want to be seen or known as that. I don't have somebody to save me. No. Like, because of these fairy tales of this white horse prince, <laughs> we think yeah. that we should be saved. <laughs> yeah. 
exactly but then what happens uh okay i'm not even going to go into the politics of it because everything that's happening on the internet right now is there's so many things to like speak about with that but essentially no essentially we save ourselves we take care of ourselves we are in charge of protecting ourselves that's just the world that we live in yeah. um so yeah and also clear what i believe that and also why i really like you uh you are not a selfish woman no I you would know. Say that you would say that yeah i can just tell a product or just tell something and make a loss of money and i'm not going to care about what people thinks or what the world's going to be next 20 years right but you care i do care i do yeah. care i care for the people around me i feel like i care about you know the children that are coming up after us you know i think that kind of care most people should have it i know it's not a uh, guaranteed but i think it's a must i think people should care more about each other maybe there's this whole focus on individualism which is why the world is in the current state that it is um but I, yeah sometimes it's a curse and a blessing but i care too much sometimes <laughs> uh i think we are here to as a ambassador of yeah uh embracing love uh and also i think woman is uh also the friend of woman not the enemy yes like yes exactly so we should definitely uh, you know also teach our daughters you know yeah 100% Love and our sons as well that like if i'm ever blessed with having a son that they're, they're gonna i want them to learn the same lessons that i would But teach you know, my niece what happens the, the the male people are like acting more polite than the female ones yeah it's it's insane i think there's a lot of role reversals at the moment um so i don't know i think the world is kind of like just in a like a mix and um, yeah. hopefully we will get to where we need to be yeah. I think we are in the washing machine like yeah yeah <laughs> or exactly <laughs> <Hold her. laughs> yeah and uh, Chloe what advice would you give would you give a woman willing to build up their careers yes i uh, i have a few pieces of advice based on what you just said don't believe that you have to be the only female at the table which means you don't have to break down other people especially not other women to make sure yeah. that your voice is heard um being co- uh, this is the second one be in competition with yourself um try not to look at other people we all do it but essentially i even do it but essentially i'm in competition with myself i'm here to to prove something to myself i'm here to overcome goals that i've set for myself not what other people have set so i would do that and then i'd also say what else would i say i'd say take risk but like figure them out before you take them <laughs> don't just randomly take risk like think it out i'm a massive thinker like even if it's a risk i've probably thought about it a lot um so i would say take risks um have an objective and make sure that that risk is going to get you to that point. Yeah. I think Chloe you're a creator. You yeah. Are, don't I like that. <laughs> for, you don't wait people to create for you. You just create. No. No. I mean, I was always told growing up if you wait for someone to do something for you, you'll never get there. So okay. yeah, just do it. Yeah. So as a woman we should definitely do something yes we, but it to do for us we waited yeah, for and inspire others by <laughs> doing it you know we waited centuries yeah <laughs> to help us you That's know so true. So I, so true. Up, i remember that you know don't tell that you know a lot to boys why why yeah. why why stupid <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I I have plans. I have plans. Like I'm the 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 boy I raise is going to be a wonderful man. That's what I look forward to. Therefore, I I believe in that. I hope I can yeah. meet. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. And my final question. Uh yeah. 
what's the next venture that you have on mind? So this is very hard. I'm in a zone of kind of just taking my time at the moment. I feel like I need to take my time. Um, I've been moving at a fast pace. Last year, really propelled myself in ways that I didn't expect or I wasn't expecting, yeah. So for me, this year is about taking things slowly, taking on opportunities that I really want to do. As I said, I've got a few projects coming out that are exciting, um, but also at the same time, I need to like, there's certain things that I need to do to take care of myself and take care of my future but it starts now, if that makes sense. So um, I'm just trying to do that. Um, but with thyself, eventually it would be great for us to get investment and to grow in the way that I see it happening. Um, I, I originally gave myself five years. It's more likely to happen in like two, um, but we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got lots happening in the next, in the next three months alone there will be a lot of announcements so you know it's it's great to see the sparkle in your eyes like <laughs> because like it's it's a very important thing to believe in something and you go for it yeah. and you're doing yeah. this thank you yeah. for for inspiring all of us thank, thank you, you for being you thank you for just chasing your dreams and don't let anyone you know let you down yeah and you know so I'm very honored Thank you. Uh, hosting you today. Uh, you are a very special woman. And what we are trying to, as a book on Couture, uh, we want to embrace all the women in the world. Uh, yeah. Like all the women, like in any race, any political, like any background. Like it's important. The, the, the thing is we are supporting women. Yeah. And also, my next call, <laughs> you yes. didn't ask, but I'm Yes, outside. I need to hear it. We need to share. Uh, yeah, uh, we are going to help uh, children. Uh, oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, because I, I really, we really, you know, set up our company's, like, goal as a, like, future goal. Like, I want to help people by earning money. Yeah. Because it's my money. Yeah. It's their yeah. money. So I should share with them. So, we are going to work with this, I think, Mali, Ma Malala, no? Malala Foundation, hopefully. And we are going to make this part project. And, and also, we are working with this International Woman for Women charity. So, Fantastic. hopefully, we can also work together. Today. Yeah. Oh, my God. That would be my dream. I, I'll just put it out there. My, also, my goal is to work with, like, the UN women. So, that we're very much aligned on that idea. So, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, thank you so much, Clay, and thank, thank you for you. Thank you yeah. for the lovely, lovely pieces. I'm so obsessed with them. I won't be taking them off. Thank you so much, and you will have more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, everyone, for joining thank me. Thank you. Oh. Have the best day. Take care. Thank you, Claire. Claire. Yeah. Bye-bye. And uh, also, thank you, everyone, for joining me today. My, my sister uh, will be uh, here next Friday at 3 p.m. Uh, with uh, Sonia Barlow, which she is an also award-winning entrepreneur, speaker, and diversity consultant, and founder of LMF Network. So thank you all, and have a great weekend.